Hey everyone, my name is Samab and today I'm about to show you how you can make a working giant tree generator in vanilla Minecraft of course. So I think we can get started with the video. Alright, so as I'm importing the creation, I'll tell you that I'm sorry for the absence on this channel. Uh, you know, I've been, I haven't been posting for like almost a month, so that's a lot, guys. I'm really, really sorry. So give yourself a command block using that command that you saw slash give up p command underscore block. Then you open the command block, you paste in the command inside this text box which you'll find in the website in the description, then you click this button and then it's done. You will see the machine generate right here. So guys, before actually starting to review what the command does, uh, I ask you to smash down the like button, leave a like, please, it will help the video a lot. And I also ask you to subscribe if you're new to the channel, if you like this video. So, we can start by crafting the first um, recipe which you can make by dropping on the ground a gold ingot this will work for every kind of thing you have to craft with this command you will have to drop a gold ingot together with some of the saplings so the first one is going to be the giant oak tree so I'll drop two saplings together with one gold ingot to get a giant oak tree so it's in a form of an armor stand but she will actually place it as normal. So you just have to right click and let me do it right now. Three, two, one, and let's see. There we go. It generated in, I don't know how many seconds, but I think it was less than one second. Amazing guys, look at this giant tree. I mean, it's awesome. And the cool thing about this is that every time you place a tree, um, it will not be the same. I mean, every time it will be randomized, so you will not get uh, a tree identical to this one, ever. So, uh, the leaves are composed of oak leaves together with jungle leaves. This was to, get, to give it a um, kind of textured look. And as you can see, we got this big trunk which is going um which is going upwards you see uh, some branches right there and that's pretty much it i'll leave some music and generate some of these two Right, so as you can see the generation, it's pretty fast and I think we can go to the next one. The next one we're gonna cover is the giant birch tree. So you drop down two birch saplings and one gold inga to get this giant birch tree. So as I said, you just right click on the ground and this one will take a couple of more seconds to generate. And what is it to the water? Anyways, as you can see, the shape of this one is really, mm, I'd say, more complex. As you can see, the branches can go in almost all the directions, and you'll see that every time you place a new one, um, the branches will not be in the same place as the previous one, uh, because this is all generated using an algorithm. As you can see, this one came totally different from the uh, previous one so we can generate another one let's see this one this one has this kind of shape so you can generate multiple trees at once um, the only thing that may vary is the randomization might not be as uh, normal it might vary a little bit if you generate them at the same time but as you can see, generated them pretty, pretty fine. Nothing has changed. I'm really, really proud of how this turned out. I mean, uh, I really love the fact that this is generated using command blocks. Uh, this is kind of pure math, if not. I mean, look at these bird trees. I really love them, especially for their uh, kind of complicated, uh, more complex shapes. 
I mean, just for a uh, fair comparison. <laughs> Look at the difference. This is the vanilla one, and this one are the other generated trees. Okay, so the next one is going to be the... So this one is really interesting, in my opinion. Uh, you have to take two apples, two... Um, oak saplings, you drop it on the ground, uh, you drop the apple first, then one gold lingot and then two oak saplings. There you go. Okay, so right click to generate it. As you can see, it's a uh, kind of uh, oak tree, uh, a lot smaller than those big ones right there. Um, but as you can see, look at this, it has apples on it. I mean, isn't this awesome? The really cool thing about this one is that you can actually harvest them. I mean, now they're not mature. If you can see right here, there's a slightly shadow of green, a kind of uh, unripe um, shade. You will need, you will need to wait four minutes until they grow out and they will be dropped automatically. Um, so um, I think I can cheat a little bit. There you go, you, you saw them do this. Uh, I, of course, cheated a little bit and used a command to uh, speed up the process a little bit. And as you can see, they grow uh, again. They, they've been replaced. So this item will last on the ground, not the default for five minutes, if I'm not wrong, but it will last on the ground for two and a half minutes. So um, it will not cause too much lag if you have a lot of them. Uh, let that's another one right in here. So you have to dig uh, your way through in order to, you know, collect the apples. They will grow out every four minutes. So I think this can be automated. Uh, one thing that you should notice is that if you break right here, the root, uh, the kind of trunk, uh, the apples will not grow anymore. They will stay here, will not work anymore. So that's a thing to pay attention to. So you cannot leave just the leaves uh, by themselves like this without the actual trunk uh, because this will not grow anymore. You need the whole tree in order to make the apple grow. Uh, if you want to remove the apple, just break uh, the leaf blocks on which they're placed and the apple will be removed. Okay, so we can go to the next one, which will be the last one. Um, which is the pine tree. So you drop down two spruce saplings. Oops, I did generate another apple tree. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, let's generate uh, some more just uh, to to decorate this landscape a little bit. They they look pretty good actually. Uh, so I was saying two spruce saplings and one gold inga. Uh, there you go. You got the giant um, pine tree. So let me right click on the ground and uh, this one will take a little while to generate. Uh, why did it do this thing? Oh man, no. Um, I might have to fix this. Okay guys, I am back. Hopefully I fixed the bug. Hopefully because it took me like an hour to just fix uh, this little bug which didn't happen before. So let's just reveal if it works or not. So let's right click and summon in the pine tree. Yeah, it works. Finally, finally. <laughs> okay, as you can, you can see it, uh, let me summon a couple of more. Um, yeah, uh, to make the pine tree work, I don't know why, I don't know why it didn't work before, but I had to make a trade-off. So y now you cannot place multiple of these at once. Uh, you will have to to wait for the other one uh, to finish in order to if you place them near uh, because otherwise the some armor stands will be deleted and uh, so um, like if you place them two of them right here this distance there won't be any problems there we go anyways guys I really hope you enjoyed this creation I did apart from the bug that I found which took me like an hour to fix uh, but still you can generate these awesome giant trees that I really really love
So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in my next one command creation. See you. Goodbye.